Aries, hello. Good morning. Today we're going to be doing your dailies. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Okay. First card out the deck is extend your lighthearted energy. Second card out. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Well, let's see exactly where we're going. Where are we going with this? Okay, spirit. Please tell me what's going on. So, there's a situation which is burdening for you. I feel like there's a lot of mind games and manipulation. And someone feels left out in the cold or is literally left out in the cold here. Yeah, needing to make a decision from somebody that they're really connected to spiritually. Because we already know the truth about this person. I feel like um, with the King of Pentacles here, um, there's a lot of stability within you two. But something has happened that's shooken up this foundation of this relationship. Okay, let's see. I feel like, yeah, again, there's tons of mind games and manipulations with somebody that you want growth with. So that's definitely not going to work, okay? I have you looking at this person like a soulmate but feeling left out in the cold. This is too burdening for you. The lover's card. But you want to be happy with this person. But again, it's too fucking heavy. I have the ten of wands here twice. This is too much. And I feel like you're trying to, at this point, just um, avoid another fucking situation or disaster. Yeah, you're thinking about whether or not you really want the stability with this person. Or if you want to continue to be this person's rock. Because you're tired of this shit. Hermit card at the bottom of the deck. Like, you might, both of you guys might be sitting in your own separate corners right now. Like, uh, understandable. This is, this is heavy. Understand that my readings are always going to be short, you guys. These are daily messages. I'm not going to do 10 or 15 minute messages every day for every sign. That would be crazy. On top of the fact that I do offer personals. If you guys would like me to go in depth. You're more than welcome to email me for a personal read, okay? So, what is the outcome? Outcome for my Aries? Oh, here you are, standing in your power. Maybe being a bit standoffish or blocking this person altogether. But I feel like this is you silently deciding that you're not going to put up with bullshit. Like, you might have um, not even, like, really addressed the situation, but just decided to balance yourself off. Without even speaking on the issue. Like, you know what? Just fuck this. This person doesn't know this, though. But I feel like you both are sitting here trying to balance off the situation. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You feel like there's a bit unjust, or this person does. Somebody feels like this situation isn't fair. Yeah, trying to look at things from a different perspective. To be victorious. Okay, both of you guys want to be happy. That's the end result. But you guys don't know how to get there. Okay, that's that's the problem. You guys just don't know what the fuck to do. So let's get some advice. Swear, please give me some advice for Aries. Advice for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. Do what makes you happy. Try to stay away from people who like to manipulate you. Nobody has time to be manipulated because they love you. All right? I feel like this person gets into your head. Stop them from doing that. If you don't know how, let me tell you. How do I stop this person? I mean, how does Aries stop this person from allowing this person to get into their head, spirit? You get into your own fucking head. Listen to your intuition. Light that fire on your third eye. Okay? Think about shit when this person says it. Don't just be all happy and googly-eyed. No. No. Be discerning about what this person says because they are definitely playing with your head, okay? This person knows how to get inside of your head. Close it out. Close off your emotions. That's the quickest way to your head. Okay. Stop sleeping so much. It says, wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Some of you guys are set heavily on the napping. All right. Bye, guys.